ready? Okay, we're ready. You guys ready? Perfect. So, for this experiment, I need everyone just to take a deep breath. Just relax. Now, what did you guys just breathe in? Oxygen. Air, oxygen, yeah. But there's actually a whole bunch of other stuff you breathe in, too. In fact, the air that you're breathing in, the air around us, is actually 70% nitrogen gas. It's mostly made of another gas called nitrogen. That's what we're going to be using for this experiment. I said we've cooled that nitrogen gas down to almost minus 200 degrees Celsius. Woo! It's so cold that it actually turned into a liquid. This is what we call liquid nitrogen. Now you can see Monica scooping it out there. This is so cold that if you put your hand in there, you would get instant frostbite. But as she's ladling it out, you can see... I know, I was thinking oh, that. It looks like it's boiling. And that's... Because it is boiling, actually. At room temperature, just ladling it in there too. And it turns back into a gas. It's evaporating right now, but it's still so cold that it's sinking down to that ground. That's heavy air right there. Now, the really cool thing about liquid nitrogen is that it actually can expand to 700 times its normal size. So that means that if we have one liter of liquid nitrogen, that is actually going to expand to 700 liters of nitrogen gas. So for this experiment, we are gonna to try to cap that expansion reaction into this simple water bottle right here. You can imagine maybe what might happen when we do this. So, Monica, are you ready? I am ready, yeah. We're gonna pour the liquid nitrogen into the bottle. Okay, perfect. Yep, I'm ready. So I'm going to take my hot water here, and I'm actually going to pour this into our blast chamber. This is going to help speed up the reaction, help it to evaporate and expand faster. Perfect. All right. And now we're also going to be using these very high-tech energy detectors here to see how much energy our expansion has. If these come flying your way, please deposit <laughs> them in the bins here at the bottom of the stage. All right. Ready? I'm ready. And don't forget your elephant ears. Shh. No kidding. Now this is a reaction that we can't time. We don't know how long this is exactly going to take. Could take 10 seconds, could take 20. It all depends on how hot that water was, how much liquid nitrogen we had. Now this is live science, so sometimes things can go wrong, and it's a possibility, we will admit that. You saw it with our, uh, our Magnavirg sphere, sometimes your experiment doesn't go exactly the way you wanted it. There are some telltale signs. If there is a leak in this bottle, we should see some mist rising up out of this this blast chamber, but I don't see any mist. Which means that this, this reaction is still going on. Well, if this does not work, we're going to try to reset it. Uh, but I do not want to hold you guys here hostage. So if you guys would like to, you're more than welcome to leave. Uh, we, I hope you enjoyed the show. hope you saw some really cool stuff. But if you do want to stick around, we're going to hopefully get this reaction to work as, as well. So if you are leaving, feel free. Um, just remember to keep your ears covered, especially if you're close to the front in case it doesn't go off. Woohoo! Hey, Michelle! Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Yeah, that was awesome.